Hi everybody, welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and tonight I am joined by Eric. Jane. <laughs> <laughs> and we are continuing our classic days coverage by focusing on Bow and Hope from 1983. This is part two of that discussion. So I'll roll the credits and we'll jump right into it. So you're very excited, and I want to know what has you so excited. <laughs> like what with the, I mean, with it was good. Just, I'm like wondering what piqued your interest in this. I don't know. I just thought the writing was really well. Um, I like that there's more clips, so I know what's happening now. Like I probably would have <laughs> been more excited last time if I was like, "Oh, we'll get to see him kill somebody today." <laughs> He's like, "Don't." So. <laughs> right. Right. Referring to the Salem Strangler. Watch all five parts. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know. I really liked it. I I don't know. I you know I I told you before. I think it like brings me back somehow, like to the eighties. I'm <laughs> watching it. And, yeah, last oh. time you said um, Marlena and Roman's house like took you back. Even yeah, though it's it does. <laughs> right, it really does somehow. Like uh, gives me comfort. I like the house. Right. I don't know. It's weird. Um, well. So Hope is becoming a little bit more and more obvious with her crush on Roman in these clips. <laughs> I I did um, not see it go in this direction. I really didn't. I didn't <laughs> see, that's, maybe that's why I was excited about it because you know how like usually when you could predict things, you're just like yeah bored kind of. You're like ah, oh, this will happen, this will happen, and I really didn't see it coming. So I was just like, all right, this is good stuff. I like it. <laughs> she buys more um, adult looking dresses to wear out to dinner Yikes. um <laughs> <laughs> and she plans on wearing them to doug's place and i'm like um with her fake id and i'm like okay this is your father's establishment he's gonna he's the people know you they're not gonna serve you it doesn't matter that you have a fake id <laughs> right um, i know i don't get that I'm sorry if there's noise outside. Apparently, um, Greg's sister has decided to leave blow at in the middle of the night in pitch dark. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> um, and of course, it's right out my outside my window. <laughs> oh my god. Um. So, Bogue is like just calling her out on her bullshit like all the time about it. All the time. And she's just, she's denying it, denying it, denying it. He's like, you clearly have a crush on Roman. She's like, you know what she's talking about, Bo? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> what happened? Oh, um, so we heard rumblings about Pete, but we haven't met Pete yet. And he's a part of the Vipers, which I think must have started around this time. Like, it's like the local gang, the Vipers. Yeah, I was curious. I I knew I heard Pete a lot. I think I wrote his name somewhere, Pete Jennings. And yeah. I'm like, they talk about him a good amount. And I'm like, what is happening? What is this Pete Jennings? And I, I I'm assuming. Yeah, I think we might see him in the next batch of clips because he starts to become a oh, character. I was gonna say, was he in like stuff that we're not seeing, or he wasn't? He was just talked about until he arrives. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see him. And then he'll kind of it'll kind of bleed into the full episodes that we're gonna try and continue to watch after these clips. <laughs> right. Um if you got the time. <laughs> right. Um so hope kind of manipulates the situation where Doug and Julie invite her to dinner back at Doug's mm -hmm. place. Uh, because something I think we forgot to mention last time was after her whole debacle of um, running away and almost getting raped and Bo and Roman and Doug saving her. Right. Was everybody decided it would be best if maybe she didn't live with Julie and Doug because they fight all the time. So she's moved in to Roman and Marlena's house. That's where she's staying. Yeah. Currently. So she's kind of like a live-in nanny <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> She's Karen. really good. She's a pretty good manipulator. Like, uh, I feel like she does it so subtly. Like, you don't even know. You're like, because she always like when you mention Marlena, she doesn't give like a dirty look. She's like, oh, is Marlena staying late? You know, like or something <laughs> like that. And you're like, like you would think like, oh, Marlena's staying late. 
Right. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't know. She's like, oh, Marlena's saying, like, oh, yeah. Like, you like, am I like, is she? Like, I couldn't really <laughs> tell. That's why I couldn't. She's manipulating, <laughs> That's why manipulating I, you. <laughs> <laughs> she is, for sure. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I did. I, that's why I was kind of surprised at where it went because I believed her. I'm like, oh, well, she crushes a lot. She knows she probably crushes, but like, you know, it's probably just like nothing. But it turned into a big thing. <laughs> um, there was a scene, Melissa and her, I think they were at Shenanigans. And Melissa got a call. I think that Marie was shot. Marie was shot by Liz, right? By or was Liz. that not true? Um, I think it was true. I don't. I don't know why. I actually. I know. I'm. I was kind of hoping we'd see a little bit of that. <laughs> like, damn, I want to know what's going on with that. I know Liz goes to jail, and I think at some point she's in a mental institution. Oh, okay. No, I think it's just jail. It's just jail. Um, I don't know if she had amnesia. She couldn't remember who she was. I don't. Hopefully, we'll get a resolution to that. And if not, maybe your book could help us. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. It probably could. I um, mean, it gives little things, but I guess the majority of what you need to know. But Hope knew um, because Roman told her because Roman had to arrest her. And right. everybody's like, why didn't you say anything? And she's like, because Roman asked me not to say anything. And that's when Bo's like, cut your bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Um, he grabs her face a lot. The... What? He's like, he always grabs her face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's up with that? Like, I don't know. And there were moments in this in this batch of clips that we watched where I felt like he was like he couldn't hide his attraction to her and like he wanted to kiss her and he would like stop. <laughs> right. Um and, and she turned away once too. Like because she was like, Oh, maybe we should go wherever. Mm hmm I laughed every time he said little one because I know you, you said you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I don't think it's cute. Uh, <laughs> it's cute that he did it to his daughter, mm -hmm. but he does it to her. I don't know. I, it just bothers me for some reason. I don't know why. It might be because it, it's kind of. Is it like what is it? It's not degrading, but it's like. I don't know. I can't. Um. I don't know. Well, I forget. Yeah. I don't That's know what I'm but he's like talking to her like she's a child, pretty much. Right, and I and it gets on my nerves. I don't. Know. <laughs> um, I don't think it's cute. Fancy face, I like. I thought that was cute whenever that comes, but <laughs> um, I don't like little one. I think that was improvised. I think I recently found that out that he said it yes. once, and then he just they liked it, so he just kept doing it. Yeah, he tweeted it. I think yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm like, that's yeah. a recent thing that I found out, and I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either. I was like, that's cool. That's I like that. I like when we find out a little bit of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah. And um, look how big it got, you know? You named the fucking boat Fancy Face. <laughs> <laughs> I know I used to really love listening to um, Jamie Giddens on Daytime Confidential, like, rant about that, like, how much he loved them. And he's like, I just want Bo, Brad Bo Brady and his mullet while uh, hanging out for holding out for a hero, please, while he goes saves his fancy butt. <laughs> <laughs> fancy butt. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but the little clips of like Bo and Melissa, I thought they had a, more chemistry. I don't know if they got involved at all. I'm guessing not. But okay, so it's funny that you mentioned that because my friend Matt says that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> really? He always says to me that he like wishes they would have went there. And I think he said that they were going to, like they were chem testing them at one point. Uh, that's probably what it was. This is all speculation. I'm not saying this is true, but allegedly Christian didn't like the focus being taken off of her, and that's why they just stayed with Bono. <laughs> you think allegedly, back then? Allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. I feel back then she wouldn't have any say. Like the eighties were you know what I mean? Like it was her first year. Like how would she be like, uh yeah, I want it on me? You know, like I don't know. I can't imagine that, but I guess it could. Like I don't know. I've heard some stories about the people on the young and the restless in the eighties. So who knows? She maybe she was like, I'm bringing the eyeballs. You want me to stay on the show, you better keep me with Bo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But also I don't know. I, I did like the chemistry with them though. Also, but I also heard that her and Peter didn't get along back then. Yeah, I heard that too. But it's all speculation. Um, 
You know, we need to. Yeah, I, so are people. you starting to like Melissa now that you're seeing a little bit more of her? I like Melissa. I didn't hate her before. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I think Marlena had to work late. So, as I started to say before, Doug and Julie invited Hope to dinner at Doug's place, and she asked if she could bring somebody. And they ask who. I think they assumed it was probably going to be Bo. And she says, no, Roman. So Julie's like, okay, bring Roman, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So they go there, and she wears one of her dresses. And it, Bo is living there, so he's just, like, hanging out at the bar. And I guess Marlena got home early, so he has to bail on dinner. And... Julie said to, Julie had a line like she's real she's something isn't she and Bo said um did you ever act like that and Julie said depends on who you ask <laughs> <laughs> yeah I like that too. <laughs> yeah um that was fun yeah because yeah, that wasn't she was like the original episode. bad girl like she was the original Sammy <laughs> right I think wasn't the pilot like her like getting arrested oh, for um shoplifting yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's only always has an edge i i just i was like current like in the past i don't know they started making her kind of a shrew like at one point where she was just like always in everybody's business and that got on my nerves mm -hmm. but then they like kind of changed it like in the past like five years where she's gotten way better like i was like okay somebody well, it was definitely a good change in writing for that when I started watching, and even like just growing up, I watched started watching as a teenager. But throughout the years, Doug and Julie basically just came for like holidays and weddings. They were always on a yeah. Cruise. They were they were never. They were on a show. <laughs> That's exactly right. Because um, I I remember I started in '96. So when Bo and Hope were getting married, I don't know for the second, third, fourth time. I don't really know. <laughs> um, Doug and Doug and Julie came on, and they're like, "Oh, we were just on this cruise." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. I guess these people are on random because you know I just started watching. I had no idea who they were. Didn't right. know that Julie was her half sister and stepmother <laughs> at that time." Um, but. we got a little bit of a side story. So Trista, who mm -hmm. I think is Marlena's cousin, um, Trista Evans, I think is her name. Yes. Um, who's with Eugene? Her mother was murdered 20 years ago. And Bo, I don't think we mentioned this last time, has decided he's going to become a private investigator with Harry I Hopper. think we did. Did we? We did, because, men, yeah, because, well, remember Alice asked Bo to do something, so it seemed like it was heading that direction. So, okay. But maybe we didn't say that it was, like, specifically, yeah, FBI or whatever. Apparently he's gone so far as to take a test to get his license, so he's, like, officially a PI. Right. Um, and he, H Howie ends up managing to call wherever he's conveniently at, and they're asking for Detective Brady, and they all think it's Roman, but he's like, oh, no, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, so now Bo is on the case to solve this 20-year murder mystery, and he has to head down to Florida. And I like how they show that it's Florida by showing flamingos. And I think the hotel was like the <laughs> flamingo inn or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I wrote it somewhere. But yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny too. Um, and he ends up paying 20 bucks for everything. Oh, it's the Pink Peloton. Pe Pink Pelican, Pelican Hotel. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's somewhere I would stay. Because I, I stay at the Flamingo in uh, Vegas. And I'm like, that sounds like a good hotel. I'd stay at there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the owner apparently doesn't have records that go past five years. But how creepy uh, was that? He has like a wall of people. <laughs> yeah, he said like a guest gave him like a picture of them, and then it just became like tradition that guests would leave photos of themselves. So yeah. Bo goes looking so and he finds cute. a picture of Trish Trista's mom, but she's with a guy, but his face is blurry conveniently. <laughs> how convenient <laughs> um, was he casted yet maybe not <laughs> <laughs> well later on we see Trista in her apartment by herself and um, Alex Marshall is hiding in the closet so maybe it was Alex Marshall in the picture and who was Alex Marshall was he on before or just for this story do you know no he's been on he was on for like 12 years he came on in like oh. 1974 73 around there 
Because I was like, he did it. (laughs) And then he didn't. (laughs) So he is Jessica um, Blake. He's Jessica's biological father. Jessica is Nick Fallon's mother. Gotcha. Oh, right. And Marie The one that was with the Salem Strangler. Yeah, Marie Horton is her mother. Okay. The one that got shot by Liz. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, so apparently the gun that was used to shoot her and kill her is Trista has it. And when her back is turned or she leaves the room for a second, he like grabs it and is about to leave, but she sees him and he holds her at gunpoint with a, with a, an empty gun, pretty much. Um, I feel like it didn't mean to, it just kind of happened. He was like, Oh no, I was like leaving. And then everybody butts in. You're like, uh, right. <laughs> I think it was just a bad timing thing. And then, Bo and um not Roman. Um wait, was it Roman? No, it was Bo yeah. and Eugene. Uh, Bo, Bo and Eugene, Eugene and show was there. woman named Nora. And Trista go- says has a line where she says, You look kind of familiar. Now Trista doesn't look too old. And she her mother was killed 20 years ago. So my mind is going, Did her mother never die? Is this her mother? <laughs> yeah, I didn't I guess so you didn't know Nora either. No, I didn't know who Nora was. Okay, I didn't either. But she looked familiar. I have to look her up. But she looked like somebody that I knew from something. Probably on Edge of Night or something. So apparently Nora had some kind of affair with Alex Marshall, but he left her or cheated on her with um, Trista's mother. And that's why yeah. she had to kill her. <laughs> so yeah, Nora was actually the, killer, the one that killed... I don't remember. I, did they even say her name or were they just saying Trista's mother? <laughs> I... I th- they might have said her name, um, but I I don't think maybe they didn't because I didn't I just wrote Trista's mom. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I don't think they did say her name. Oh, you know I feel like they did, but I might have not catched it. I think it was like Barbara something. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um. So now I don't know if it was because of the increased gang presence with the Vipers. Um. Mm-hmm. But, or the fact that they were investigating this murder, but Roman's really on edge and he doesn't want Marlena to be alone. Um, And him and Hope come home and it looks like the house has been ransacked. Like things are knocked over. There's a a window broken and they're freaking out because they don't know where Marlena is. And then Bo and Marlena come home. Apparently they went out to eat. Her car was there. That's also why they were freaking out. Apparently, she went out to eat with Bo in his car. Um, and apparently, something fell over, and he turned it over to fix it, and some kid was playing baseball, and the baseball probably went and broke the window. It was this whole like, misunderstanding. There's, of course, a great reason why everything's disheveled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Roman and Bo were in a shouting match, and I think this, oh, is that's where, good. this is where we learn a little backstory of why they fight the way they do. Because mm. apparently... Sean Sr., Uncle Sean, as I like to call him. (laughs) (laughs) Daddy Sean. (laughs) Got hurt on the docks uh, because of Bo, and he hurt his back, and he couldn't work for a year, so Roman had to step up and kind of be like the man of the house. And Bo always felt like he held it against him. And then Roman mentions something that he did when he was 16, and Bo cuts him off, and he says, don't even talk about that. Like, he just doesn't want to talk about it. And it was such an interesting detail that it gets circled back to maybe a few scenes later, because Hope brings it up. She's like, what happened? Hmm. That was weird. We both got kicked out. (laughs) I don't know. We both got kicked out. Um, that's weird. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. We're <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay. A little glitch. Um, <laughs> um, as I was saying, oh, so we circle back to it later because Hope even says, What happened to your 16? And Bo gets all defensive and he doesn't want to talk about it. Now, I don't know, but I suspect this has something to do with Megan. Hmm. 
Because as we continue on, Bo's going to mention that he had a girlfriend named Megan. Oh, really? Who ends up being the Megan. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I think he may have gotten her pregnant. Oh, when he was 16. That's fun. Yeah. And I don't I don't remember how that story resolves, so it's going to be like brand new when I watch it again. <laughs> right, right. Um and we yeah, got a glimpse of it. Because yeah. I I like I love their chemistry um as brothers. Like I thought they were excellent. I can see um why they did what they did when they um recasted Roman with uh, Drake Hogeston because I feel like it would have been hard to accept another Roman like right away if he didn't like wasn't confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They did a good job because I'm like, I love this guy. Like he's killing it. And I like his chemistry with everybody. And I'm like, I can I can definitely uh see why there would be some upset when he left, you know. Um Bo finds an envelope in Hope's purse that's basically newspaper clippings of anything that ever mentions Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I always keep them in my purse too. When I'm <laughs> crushing on somebody. And she says she was she was gonna make him a scrapbook. <laughs> him and Marlena. Him and Marlena. Him and Marlena, yes. <laughs> you know, I I think she genuinely cared about Marlena, which is probably why she tricked me. You know, because like, <laughs> like I feel like part of her like wanted Marlena there, but like since she wanted Roman, like kinda not, but I don't know. Like when you know when she apologizes later, we'll talk about it. But yeah, even though she's like lusting after him, she knows it's wrong because she even says to Bo when she's denying it, he's a married man. Like she knows it's wrong. Right, right. Like she's fighting herself, kind of. But also, Bo kind of had a point. Like she maybe she's doing it because he's safe and she knows she can't have him, and it's just like a fun thing she gets to have a crush on him. Yeah, you can't really say she has daddy issues, right? Because Doug's a pretty good dad, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, mean, I guess she yeah, it's just a crush. She left on the way to boarding school. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Always send them away, but she was only gone for like a year, right? Wasn't she on before that? Yeah, when they had that other teenage hope. Yeah. Um. So Roman's gonna go on a fishing trip by himself. Um, yeah. And apparently he has forgotten the most important thing, his fishing poles, I believe. Dope. Um, <laughs> but it turns out he never packed them, or he did pack them, and they were unpacked um, by Jane. <gasps> this, <Jane. laughs> I don't even know what she is, homeless girl, unpopular yeah. girl. I really don't know what like her issue is. <laughs> I want to I want to investigate Jane a little bit more. So we did see her in a few clips where Hope's hanging out with her. And I guess yeah. Jane either doesn't have family. Yeah, like she's either homeless or she's going, whatever. So she really looks up to Hope, I guess, and like really wants to do anything she can to be her friend and be a she good friend. She hangs out at the crisis center that Marlena works at or volunteers at. Right. Right, but she's always she's usually with Hope though when she's hanging out. So yeah, yeah. So well, we find out all this information later. So Hope bring decides right. she's going to bring the poles to um <laughs> to Roman. <laughs> so where she are they? The Horton cabin. It didn't look like the Horton cabin. I didn't know what it was. I was confused yeah, I when know. they were. Um. Oh. So. She drives off to where Roman is staying um, to drop off the poles. Apparently, a storm is coming. It's thundering out, and it's going to just downpour any minute. As always in you know, bad um, situations. I think Marlena actually is supposed to meet him there. But she gets held up because yes. um, Jane attempted suicide. Allegedly. <laughs> 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 um and okay. Roman calls Marlena um from a payphone. Um I guess I don't know if there's like a, a gas station nearby. Um and before so he try, he tells her not to come because of the storm. He says wait for it to pass come in the morning. Right. And 
Hope is there because her car is broken down. Right. I don't know if she lost the an tire or it won't start. Something happened. The engine flooded. I don't know. Um, Wait, the whole thing happened before that, though. Everything came out before that. What came out? The crash zone that she like tried to hit on him and stuff. She said that. Was oh, did she leave? That. Oh, did she leave after she tried to hit on him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, right. So probably so we're at the club, that, she did try to hit on him. <laughs> she brings she brings the the thing to Roman, and then she just lets it all out. Yeah, she she says flat out, "I love you," <laughs> um, um, and make love to me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" What, what? That's why I was I was surprised. I really didn't see it coming. I was just like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, girl!" And Roman was very gentle about it. I think that's the most gentle oh, God, yeah. in this version of Roman B. I feel like he's always just shouting, and I've never seen him be this calm and like. Well, I guess I guess he knows <laughs> she's a teen, and he and she's crushing. So yeah, he doesn't want to be like crazy bitch. Get out of here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, basically telling her she should be with somebody her own age, not um waste it on somebody like him. <laughs> right. And yeah, it was she, a nice moment. I felt bad for her. Kind of. She's sad, but she accepts <laughs> it. And then she goes off, but her car doesn't start. So yeah, it's downpouring. Yeah, so Roman gets cut off from Marlena because the electricity dies on the payphone. Um, the gas station is not open. So him and Hope go back to the cabin. And she tries one more time. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> um, even going as far as to kiss him. Just as Marlena and Bo walk in. Oh. <laughs> and Marlena looks. And I didn't, Marlena looks I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that coming either. Because the one minute she's home. So I don't know how like. And then yeah. and they're like. You know and I thought she was going to be like. Oh yeah maybe. There was something and Bo was like. Oh let's just. We got, I guess they wanted to you know. Do that. So they didn't show like maybe Bo came by. And was like oh I'll just take you up there you know. We'll go together so you're safe you know. I'm guessing that's what happened behind the scenes. There may have been a scene, because Bo mentions that he knew Hope was up there or was going to go up there. Mm. So there. There may have been a scene where Bo was like, oh, I can't trust this bitch. We need to go up there and see what she's up to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so Marlena's pissed, but she's keeping calm. She's very like even keeled, but you could see it in her face. She like wants to... Like, Rip this bitch's hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's mad. Yeah, we don't see Marlena like this too much. She was scowling like when she was possessed. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think she thought anything. Like I just know she probably knew because she trusts Roman. Like I don't think it was yeah. that type of thing. And um, Hope tells her the truth. She tells her everything that happened about her crush. Yeah. And how he turned her down, and how he's a really great guy, and she apologizes. She's so, 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 so sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, and you know, handles it well. Bo has to like get his okay. things in here and there with her. <laughs> yeah, of course. Get, like, shit. <laughs> As he <we> should. <laughs> um, I feel like the after in the aftermath of this, um, she wants to go back to boarding school because she's so ashamed and she just wants to like get out of town before the whole town yeah. finds out about it. Yeah, I don't blame her. But Doug and Julie <laughs> say no. And they want her to move back to the lodge. So out of Roman and Marlena's. Um you know, I was thinking about this today. I had like flashes of um Sierra, the first Sierra, not um Vivian Giovanni. Right. Um, wasn't she like a live-in nanny for Thomas and she had a crush on Chad? Um, I think they were heading that way. I think I remember something like that. And obviously he was married to Abby, so I feel like they were like kind of replicating that scenario right. <laughs> with Hope's daughter. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah. Um, so I think we're like in like August or September now because we have seen yeah, they talk about like Melissa and Bo like swimming at the like off the docks and Hope shows up and she's like tanning. 
talking about the end of summer, talking about going to school again, and they don't want to and stuff. Yeah. Well, this is when she says yeah. that um, Doug and Julie won't let her go back to boarding school. So she's like, I guess she's stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, oh, Sorry, great. Sorry, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what else? Um, and we, um, we found out that it was all orchestrated by... Oh, Miss Jane. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> She wanted to be friends with Hope. Well, she wanted to be, I guess, Hope's best, best friend. So she was willing to do anything. So right. she held Marlena up by faking her, I guess, trying to kill herself. Or mm -hmm. now, I wonder. I wonder if they showed that happening. I'm curious, or if they just talked about it. Well, prior to that, Melissa and Hope were like at shenanigans talking about it, and it was a little bit icky how they were talking about suicide. They were just like. She must be a weirdo. Only a weird person would do that. And I'm like, mm, that doesn't feel like how you should be handling this subject matter. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I they're like kids. Three, we're still learning, but like, come on. <laughs> and they're kids. Like, they're, you know, I yeah. guess kids probably would talk like that. You know? Yeah, I guess so. Like, I'm sure if Marm and Marlena were talking about it, it wouldn't be like that. <laughs> right. So in a roundabout way, this is like Hope's out to be like, see, it wasn't really all my fault. It was Jean's fault that I like <laughs> almost abuse your husband. <laughs> yeah, right. Never mind the fact that I had the feelings and I went for it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jane, I, you know, and that's why I, I'm curious about this Jane. I wonder if she was around more than we see, but I'm guessing maybe not. I don't know. Um, I didn't see it coming. I honestly don't even don't remember Jane. I didn't even remember this detail of the story. Um, so I kind of feel like maybe this is the end of Jane. <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Oh, so oh. the last thing I remember is um, Hope got an invitation to a party at the Demira Mansion. Okay. From Renee. So now this makes me think we are headed into the next serial killer storyline. I didn't even know there was another serial killer storyline. Yes. The Salem... <laughs> what was the last one we did? We did the Strangler? <laughs> strangler, yeah. Not the Stalker. The Strangler. Slasher. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't... I didn't know that. I guess I wonder if we'll see a lot of it. Are the Bowen Hub involved or no? Uh, you'll get to see full episodes because it goes into 1984. Uh, <laughs> um, I made note that um, Lexi was at Shenanigans. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, Nikki Wade. What was her name? <laughs> Nikki Wade. <Yeah. laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Doug and Hope uh, chat about the hospital. Lexi is at Shenanigans with Bo. <laughs> <laughs> It's Lexi, damn it. She I just know, changed her name. Her. Maybe she went in hiding. I miss her. I do. I miss Lexi. I love Lexi, but you know, she wanted to be done. She was retired. She didn't want to do anything. So she left. Yeah, but I think oh, it's because yeah. she felt like they weren't using her. They just weren't writing anything good for her. And that kind of like the yeah. last straw for her. And then also yeah. at one point they fired her twice in one year. Yeah. She was like, probably just over it. Yeah. But the, I like how they brought her back. Remember that? She was in, like, the tunnels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shower, like, all those, like, uh, like uh, what is it, like, charcoal and stuff. And she's, like, yeah. looks like a wild beast <laughs> <laughs> in the tunnels. They're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I forget how the first time she died. I don't remember how. Did she die more than once? Yeah, she was dead. They killed her off, and then they brought her back through the tunnels. She didn't leave. Um, and that's why I was like, what, and so they brought her back just to kill her again, like a year or two later. I'm like, yeah, I do. I did love Lexi. I liked all the shit she was doing with um the baby switch and all that. Yeah, that was fun. Um, but it was cool. We got to see Abe a bunch. Um, I always love seeing Abe. We didn't see Maggie this time around or Dawn. No, not at all. I guess she's not involved with um, Bo and Hope. Because I guess yeah. that's all we're seeing, right? It'll circulate. I feel like uh, these clips are a little more well-rounded. We get a little taste oh, of Oh, for sure. I know what's <laughs> happening. I feel like I know what's happening. 
<laughs> yeah, like a cohesive Are story you, happening. <laughs> with the other one, I, I felt like I was all over the place. I'm like, uh, I don't know. What's going like, on. I, I don't know. <laughs> They're like, oh, we think it's Jake. I'm like, how? Because I didn't get that from what I saw. <laughs> like, I would have no idea it was Jake because he was only in it like three times. <laughs> oh, we saw um, Chris Kostachuk. Yes. And he's I, dating I Andy Nicholas. Horton. Yes, and um, who the hell's Sandy? I don't think I've ever heard that name. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, she's a cousin. I don't know who her parents are, but she's a, a Horton, obviously. Um, and I think she's only on for like a year, and then we never see her again, ever. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. So just like, bring her on and then get rid of her. Yeah. Let, um, I, I can look it we up. saw Anna. We saw Anna. Oh, yeah, Anna we did. Is that the first time we're seeing Anna? I feel like it was. Um, I believe so. She was talked about. Yeah. Um, in the clips, they were like, "Oh, Carrie and Anna, or something." Um, but this time we got to see her at the hospital talking to Alice. Mm-hmm. And she was not. Well, in the clip I saw it, she was not as quirky as she is now. I guess in her old age, she's gotten quirky. <laughs> okay, so Sandy is Tommy Horton's um daughter. Tommy, the one who had amnesia and had reconstructive surgery, and Marie was dating him because she didn't know it was her brother, and he had amnesia, so he didn't know she was his sister. Was it reconstructive surgery because they were changing a, the cast, the guy? No, no, because I don't think he was originally on. I think maybe he wasn't on the first year or two, okay. and he was like in Vietnam or something, and he had reconstructive surgery because he was hurt or his face was disfigured. Um, so that's why nobody recognized him and he had amnesia. Um, but yeah, so she is Tommy Horton's daughter. All right. Which is another Horton that we didn't see too much of. I feel like after the 70s, I didn't even know who he was. Uh, yeah, it says last appearance of Tommy Horton was March 7th, 1980. Oh, wow. Yeah. From 67. Way back. Yeah. Uh, I I made note. I'm like I put Bo is in jean shorts talking. <laughs> I guess I had an issue with it. And it, it, like, he looked naked when he was sitting, like because his shorts were so short. He at looked like box. naked. Yeah, at the one <laughs> bar, I was like, oh, all right. That was with Melissa, I think. There was one. I think it was when he was at the bar. He was wearing mm-hmm. a shirt with a hole in it, and I know that was like the style back then. I was like, but that you just look like. <laughs> You could have on like a better shirt. It looks like a night shirt <laughs> like, when you sleep in. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. <laughs> but so yeah, I'm excited about the next batch of clips. Um, yeah, me too. I I don't know what you know. I really don't know where it's going. Right? I'm like, because I from what like all the Bone Hope stuff I've always seen. They always show the flashbacks, and it's always just them like together doing whatever. Yeah. So I never would have imagined that it happened like this. You know how it started. I have no clue. Yeah. I always thought the way it, they made it seem, I was like, I was probably like, you know, there was love at first sight, and then that was that. You know, and then it was like we're Bo and Hope together forever. <laughs> like, damn, we're together. We love each other so much. It's my fancy face. <laughs> that's what I really like it. That's, what, I, that's probably what. I, that's probably why I'm liking it so much because I really did not see any of this shit coming. I was like, okay, this is really cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> but I'm a big soap opera junkie, so I like pretty much everything. But <laughs> it I don't know. Much. I'm really, really, I'm really liking this though, and I didn't think I would so or like it as much. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping if I'm right about the whole serial serial killer storyline, that the party that Hope is invited to, we get to see more than we did with the Strangler. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. if it's the party well, that I'm if, thinking of, somebody dies at that party. Well, if Hope, if Bo and Hope are there, then most likely we're going to see it. I mean, this person did a good job yeah. at recording Bo and Hope. So. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. we did see like a good chunk of the sand, not the, the Trista story, to kind of understand it. Right. So maybe. Um. Yeah. Did I forget anything? Is there anything else you? Let's see. More no, I looked through everything. I think I got it. Got it all. All right. 
Well, thank you for joining us for another discussion of Bowen Hope 1983. We will be back probably in a week for another discussion about it. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch more now. <laughs> <laughs> As always, you can find us on all the socials at Queers and Soaps. Until next time, have a good night. Bye. Bye.